Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the best SNES emulator for the Nintendo Wii that supports 3D cover art and it's just really good in general. So the link is in the description. It's just going to bring you to this Google Drive page. So all you want to do is go ahead and just click the download option in the top right. So this is quite a large file, so keep that in mind, it's 1.2 gigabytes, so all you want to do is just click download anyway. Right guys, so once you've finished downloading the file, head over to your downloads folder, you'll be able to find that in there, it's just called SNES 9X Modded. Basically in this folder it's just got everything, um, everything you will need for the emulator. What you want to do is just do right click and then extract it. So here is my file extracted. Once you go inside the folder you can see you've got an apps folder. This is the main part of the emulator and then you've got the WAD file. So all right here is my Wii's SD card connected and all you want to do is just copy across these three files. So make sure you copy the WAD into the WADS folder. Make sure this file goes on the root of your Wii's SD card and then in the apps folder what you want to do is just copy across SNES 9X uh, GX into your Wii's SD card apps folder. So I've already copied these files across because they're quite large in size and it took about 10 minutes to copy across so I didn't really want to record all that. But basically everything is right here on my Wii's SD card. Um, if the file is too big for your Wii's SD card you can always delete some ROMs that you don't want. As I say, this has pretty much got every um, SNES ROM that ever exists on here. So if you guys find some games that are just pointless, go ahead and delete them. But anyway, so now I'm just going to show you guys the covers right here. As you can see, it's got 3D covers. I can just open up one. Look like that. You can just pretty much choose um, whatever kind of you know cover you want for your games. But now I'm just going to head over to my Wii and show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you are over on your Wii, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up the homebrew channel. Okay guys, from here you can either go ahead and install the WAD. I don't have any software to install that on my SD card right now. So what I'm going to do is just launch the SNES emulator. Okay, okay, so as you can see it loads up just fine. Mine seems to have loaded up in the um, A section of ROMs, so you can just press A on this just to go back. So on your Wii Remote, what you can do, you can scroll through all the ROMs using the plus and minus. If you press down on the Wii Remote, it should bring out all the ROMs in the slight wider section so you can see all of them. If you guys wish to change the type of cover up, what you can do, go ahead and just press A on settings, go to saving and loading. From here where it says covers folder, what you can do is you can just put in whatever you want. So right now I've got it on 2D. Um, I can go ahead and put it on 3D. This is also a fix if the covers aren't displaying for you. Now I can go back, go back again. Just wait for them all to load in. And as you can see guys, it is now on 3D. So you can pretty much just find any game you want. Um, it says the name at the top. so. Let's try what game is good. Adam's Family. Adam's Family Values. Let's just try one of these ones. So as you can see the game loads up straight away. Full working sound and everything like that. You can play the game at 60 FPS without any problems. Let's just give this game a quick try. So as you can see the game runs um, completely fine. So if you guys are done playing the game what you can do is just press the home menu. Then what you can do you can just go to main menu and then just click OK. 
You can also save on this as well, as you can save your games. They will be put into the save folder. So let's just go ahead and try another game. I think this has pretty much got every single SNES game on as well, which is kind of crazy. So, um, Alien 3. There's also some game settings you can configure like cheats, um, video, you can change some settings here. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.